this video explains how you can uh, get rid of this error uh, in WordPress website so what happens is that when you try to access uh, your WordPress website you get this error saying that uh, your website redirected you uh, too many times and uh, this is the error code too many redirects so the main reason why this uh, error comes in WordPress websites is because you haven't uh, said the this uh, two variables properly that is WordPress address and site address as you can see uh, here in this uh, WordPress admin board WordPress address is HTTPS and here it is uh, given as HTTP so this error might also come if you also give the incorrect address or incorrect port number as well like instead of uh, 80 by default that is the port but if you give like say 80 80 over there then also these kinds of error comes so you can uh, edit these settings and then save this so this is one way of uh, saving those changes another way of saving the changes is uh, by going to the uh, like database of that particular wordpress and uh, once you have got the access to that uh, database you have to go to this options table this prefix can be different for different wordpress websites so this uh, for this uh, table it is jaisu but uh, it doesn't matter like you have to go and uh, find out this options table and uh, right now i'm using mysql uh, workbench so all you have to do is uh, you have to give the correct uh, url of or uh, the uh, home address of your website so same thing that we did there you can see that it is showing here as well https so you can just remove that all you have to do is just give the correct address whatever is the address of your website just give it that there and then uh, save these changes once you do that uh, that error will vanish just did it now let us try to refresh this so as you can see now I'm able to refresh this page like that so just remember that uh, you can change the settings uh, the WordPress settings from here by going to the uh, WordPress dashboard and then going here in the settings in general you have to go there and then change those settings that is the give the correct address of your website or you can also do it from the website as well Thanks for watching this video.